What is going on guys? Tom here from Amazon Lions. Do you want to know how to properly launch a product so you can make a lot of money on Amazon? Then watch this video because I'm going to mention four key points that you absolutely, absolutely need to consider to make sure your products are profitable and you make a lot of money. Okay, let's get started. To understand Amazon, you understand that when you start selling on Amazon, the main goal is to get your product on page one, right? And have a really good sales velocity. Sales velocity is basically having sales, right? So it's a velocity of sales going up. So you, the more sales you have, the better your listing will do. So that's what we want to have. We want to have social proof, which is basically saying that, yes, this product is legit. People are buying it. There is interest. There's demand, right? And then and that in turn is going to give you sales velocity, which is increased sales. So that's what we want. And we get those if we are on page one. So the four key points that I'm going to mention to you guys, and I'm going to keep it short in this video because I know that a lot of times people and even myself, I find myself babbling and trying to get information across to you guys. But the more to the point we are, the better you'll understand it and the better you'll be able to implement it. Okay. The first point is to create the perfect listing. Now you guys know that creating the perfect listing is an art. You got to be able to make sure that the copyright is absolutely beautiful and marketable. It's to the point, right? And your pictures are absolutely amazing, high quality, describes the product, describes the measurement, describes the uses for that product. And of course, your say, uh, keyword optimization. Now, one of the tricks that I always talk to you guys about when optimizing your listing is to actually use a product like Jungle Scout or Helium 10 or even Merchant Words. Find out the top 100 keywords that are used when that product is searched and then use those keywords to create your listing. Highlight the keywords that you can use in your listing because that is absolutely optimizing not only in your keywords, which is the backing keywords that people are going to search your listing, but also in your description and your main points. If you use those keywords, your listing will be absolutely optimized. And every time people search for those keywords, your listing will pop up because it is in that description. And I'm telling you guys, if you do that right, you're going to be amazed by the results. The second and another important thing about your listing are the pictures. You want to make sure they're high quality. If you do not have money to take high quality pictures of your product, the best way is to ask your supplier. Your suppliers have those pictures. They sold that product to you by using those pictures. They are absolutely obligated to give you those pictures. So don't be shy and ask for it. The second thing is social proof. Imagine like I tell you guys this all the time. Imagine going to a restaurant and you don't see anybody there, right? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The food is shit, right? But when you see another restaurant that there is like 20 people, 30 people just crammed in there, all of a sudden it creates a social proof that look, people are going there for a reason. They must be doing something right. And that's what we want to do. We want to create social proof. And one of the ways to create social proofs is to actually do reviews. And I know that when you first start selling, you don't have any reviews, but there are tons of people on Facebook groups, guys, that are waiting for you to ask them to write reviews. And of course, this is, I, I don't recommend this all the time, but for your initial product, I recommend that you go join these Facebook groups, have something to share, when you build rapport with some people, do private messaging. Do not ever put it in the text in front of everyone. Private message somebody and say, hey, can I DM you? I really need some reviews. I'll give you the product for free. So that's your giveaway. And I would love you to write a proper review. Let me know your honest opinion what this product is. And I will compensate you for your time as well, which you can give them $10 or what have you. Now try to do this five times. So get five reviews to create social proof for your product. Don't do more than that. And then the other five will be unverified reviews, which is basically they don't have to buy your product, but they can leave a review on your listing and get that going because you need at least 10 reviews for people to actually start noticing your product and say, you know what, this product pop up, it's on page one, it has 10 reviews, so I'm okay with that. It's not like it has one review and make sure those reviews are positive and people are going to start buying your products. The third thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about is giveaways and coupons. Guys, giveaways are absolutely crucial in the beginning stages, especially when you're asking for reviews. So giveaways, basically you're giving away the product 100% 
or even 95%. So one of the ways to do is coupons, right? You don't have to do these together. What you're gonna do is say, guys, I'm providing a 99% coupon if you purchase my product and leave a review. So you send the coupon pro, <coughs> sorry, you send the coupons uh, in private messages to people who wanna buy your product uh, as a giveaway. Of course, you do this through Facebook groups and all that and get them to actually leave a positive review. And the whole point of this is to create social proof guys and get reviews, right? Even giveaways and all that that we do is to create buzz around our product, right? So do that, provide some insane coupons. People are gonna be interested. People are gonna buy it, especially if it's a product that they need. They'll be absolutely thrilled to actually read your review, uh, try out your product, and basically they're getting the product for free, so why not, right? So it's absolutely a great way to create social proof and start creating some sales velocity because Amazon's algorithm detects it as sales. So whenever you do giveaways and they actually purchase your product like that, it's actually detecting it as sales and it's gonna increase your sales velocity one step closer to being on page one, guys. That's how it works. And one of the most important thing about giveaways, you gotta understand is that you cannot just give away any number of units. What you gotta do is go check out your top competitor in your category, right, that is on page one. See how many sales are doing, right? If they're doing, let's say, 20 sales a day, you gotta give away 20 products per day for the next three to seven days to create social proof. Imagine guys, all the products that you're giving away, people leaving reviews for you. How amazing is that, right? You don't do it for too much because you're gonna run out of inventory very shortly. But if you do it for a really limited period of time and do it based on your top competitor, Amazon's algorithm is that they detect that, hey, there is another top seller coming up on in this category. Let me promote their products because the items are flying off the shelf. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta trick the Amazon algorithm. And the last one, guys, is your PPC campaign. Now, don't do PPC campaigns unless you have done the first three that I mentioned because it is gonna be absolutely useless for you guys. You need some kind of leverage in the beginning in order to push it with your PPC after. PPC campaign is the pay-per-click advertising opportunity that you can do with Amazon. It's just out of Amazon. You basically use certain keywords and then your, your PPC campaign. So whenever somebody clicks on your listing, Amazon charges you an advertising dollar. And the higher you place your bids for PPC, the more chances because Amazon loves money. Everybody loves money. The more money they think they can make, the more the algorithm is gonna push your product forward. And that's it guys, these are the four most important things that you can do when you're launching your product to make sure you give it the best chance possible for survival. Again, we're competing in a jungle guys. Amazon is a perfect name for the platform because it is a jungle and there's a lot of competition. I know we try to look for ways or products that have low competition, but chances are that you still have a few competitors out there that are trying to sell the same product and you're competing for the market share for your piece of the pie. So give it the best chance possible. Thank you guys. Please implement these strategies in your Amazon FBA business and I guarantee you guys great sales and great profits. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any comments, drop it below and I'll be happy to answer you guys. Until next video, make sure you subscribe so you can get notification and I'll see you guys next time.